And welcome back to Pure Nebraska. On Mondays, we like to shine the spotlight on the farm group called the Alliance for the Future of Agriculture in Nebraska, or AFAN. Today, AFAN is connecting us with the executive director of the Nebraska Grain Sorghum Board. Now, joining us now is Barb Clement with the Soybean Board, and thank you for being here today. It's my pleasure. Sorghum. Sorghum, I'm sorry. Board. Yes, that's sorry. okay. It's, easy, it's an easy <laughs> mistake to make. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you have a recipe for us today. I do. I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek at okay. some of the recipes that we're going to be demoing at the State Fair this okay. year. Okay, great. And this one is an Asian salad mm -hmm. uh, with uh, roasted almonds. Okay. Yeah, and so if you want to, wanna, you can, we'll mix in with that. We're going to add some um, julienne carrots. Okay. So that's actually... Sorghum in there. That right? is so, that is the sorghum okay. grain. It's the pearled sorghum okay. grain. Okay. And, and I cooked that in my pressure cooker yesterday, so that's ready to go. Wow. And I made a large enough batch, and the the rest of it I froze, so I have it ready for for use at another mm -hmm. time when we when we decide we want to do another recipe. Now we're going to add some celery, and we're going to add some color with our uh, red peppers, and we're going to add a few green onions. Green onions. Okay. We're going to put a little bit of parsley in there. Okay. Wow. And then in addition to that, we're going to do a cup of Marcona almonds, and I can just measure that with my hand, right? Marcona almonds, these are roasted Marcona almonds. Hmm. They're from Spain. They're they're actually, they're, they're a rounder, more plump um, almond. You can also use slivered almonds uh, toasted wow. uh, or just, just regular almonds, whatever. Okay, okay, so then I'm gonna also have you make the dressing here. And in the dressing, we need four tablespoons of rice vinegar, and this is a seasoned rice vinegar. And here's your little okay. Little we'll whisk, whisk it together. We'll whisk that together, but we're going to put in four four tablespoons four tablespoons of this. And again, that's rice vinegar. This is a seasoned yeah. rice vinegar. This huh. is actually called a sushi uh, vinegar, mm -hmm. so it, it has a nice Asian flavor to it. And then we're also going to add a tablespoon and a half of toasted sesame oil. Now you can use regular vegetable oil if you want, but the mm -hmm. toasted sesame oil just and yeah, if you want to blend that a little bit okay. to kind of emulsify that some. And then we're also going to add some minced garlic Alrighty. For, for flavor. And we're going to add just a little tiny pinch of salt. And Barb, why do you like sorghum so so well to cook with? You know, sorghum is so versatile, it's nutritious. We're also gonna uh, uh, some black pepper in there, and when you get that all emulsified, mm -hmm. go ahead and pour that on the salad, and you can mix that okay. together. It's, it is very nutritious. It is uh, it's uh, antioxidant rich. Um, it's a good source of, of um, digestive fiber, uh, and it's uh, the um, antioxidants are it's high in potassium and low in sodium, so that's mm -hmm. good for your blood pressure. It is gluten free, so for those people mm -hmm. who have an intolerance to gluten, um, it's it's an excellent alternative. It's eco friendly. It's very well water use sufficient and it's American grown. Oh, so yeah. uh, you support Nebraska farmers when you when you do sorghum. Uh, and you can find the, the sorghum grain in most of the health market or health food uh, stores. Mm -hmm. uh, I buy mine online retail from New Life Market in Scott City, Kansas. Uh, and this is their pearled sorghum. Okay. But you could also make it out of the um, whole grain sorghum. Isn't that pretty? It is very pretty. And that is All very right. pretty. That's one for John to yeah, try. Yeah, he's okay. got a little spoon right. okay. over here to try that. I've never tried oh, these yeah. almonds. I, already had, I was very ready good. already. I had my yeah. fork oh, ready to go. Well, you're ready to go. You must be a hungry boy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> these almonds look good. I've never had these. They are, they are something a little bit different. Um, I enjoy them a lot. Mm. And it's, it's a very mm -hmm. delicate Asian flavor, but you can use it a sorghum in salads, uh, pilafs, mm -hmm. risotto, soups. What a great summer recipe. It I mean, is. It's nice it is. Yes. Cool and refreshing. It's very mm -hmm. refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very light. And you're going to be at the State Fair? Going to be at the State Fair where there are mm -hmm. three days uh, each weekend. So each weekend is a three day weekend Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. Sunday, and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And we're doing two demonstrations each day. And this is one of the recipes that we're doing at the State very Fair. Very good. Mm -hmm. We encourage people to stop by. We'll have food samples for them. We'll also, New Life Market is also supporting us with uh, some actual grain samples. Mm -hmm. So we can send people home not only with the recipe, but with some sorghum that they can make the recipe themselves. Great. Yeah more recipes on how to use sorghum. Absolutely. Yeah, it's very yeah. good. Thank you. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure in. to be here. All right. It's so good, I'm just going to keep eating. <laughs> you, go, you go right <laughs> ahead. We have plenty more. <laughs> All right, thanks. Yeah, that's great. Well, yeah. this recipe is going to be featured, so thank you. Very good, yes. And if, if people want more recipes, by all means, contact our office. We have plenty to share. Will do. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we have much more to come right here on Pure Nebraska. Yeah.